गाइस डू यू वांट टू नो व्हाट द टॉप इंस्टाग्राम इन्फ्लुएंसर्स आर डूइंग टू ग्रो देयर फॉलोअर बेस वेल आई विल बी शेयरिंग ऑल दी स्ट्रेटजीज इन दिस वीडियो सो मेक श्योर यू वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड हे गाइस वेलकम टू द डिजिटल मार्केटिंग मास्टरी वीडियो कोर्स एंड टुडे वी आर कवरिंग वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट टॉपिक इंस्टाग्राम मार्केटिंग इन दिस कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव स्टेप बाय स्टेप ट्रेनिंग आई विल बी कवरिंग एवरीथिंग अबाउट इंस्टाग्राम राइट फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट टिल द एंड बीट क्रिएटिंग योर प्रोफाइल लाइक अ प्रो finding the right hashtags and creating a content strategy that will drive 10x more followers for you i'll also go through all the growth hacks and strategies that i personally use and also i use them for my clients that will drive insane amount of followers for your account i'll also be going through all the softwares and tools that are already available in the market which will make the whole process much more simpler and much more easier We won't be covering the strategies that used to work in 2018 but rather all the strategies are 2019 proof so they will be working by the end of 2019 or even till 2020 This training will be in the form of case study so I won't be giving you just the theory but also showing you live case studies live proofs of various accounts that are actually implementing these tactics And in the end I'll also be sharing all the secrets about how to make money from your Instagram Even with the account with a following of hundred thousand to three hundred thousand followers, they are making multiple lakhs per month just through influencer marketing. So I'll be sharing my strategy and also some case studies of various accounts that are doing it and how you can replicate the same process for yourself. And as I have told you in the earlier videos as well that you won't be learning just from the theory. So make sure you implement all the steps on your Instagram account and see the results for yourself. We have a huge Facebook group where you can ask questions and also see other people how they are performing with their Instagram account. So let's get started in this video. So what is Instagram? I don't think I even need to explain this. Instagram is the new trend in 2019 or rather even in 2018. I even did a poll in a very popular Facebook group and my question was related to how many people are actually opening Facebook more compared to Instagram. and around 70% people polled for Instagram that they are using Instagram much more often compared to Facebook so this just shows the amount of opportunity that lies in Instagram in 2019 and even in coming years so for people who don't know what Instagram is Instagram is a photo sharing mobile app it used to be a photo sharing app but you can even add the videos in nowadays it was launched in 2010 and then it was acquired by Facebook so you can see the growth trajectory of Instagram by yourself how much it has grown from 2015 to 2019 and and it is expected to rise at an exponential rate in 2020 as well now i'll be sharing some stats with you just to show you how popular instagram is so almost 800 million plus instagram accounts are active every month that's a huge number and the best part is that out of those 800 500 million plus instagram accounts are active every day so 500 plus million people are using instagram on a daily basis And if you're looking for business opportunity or marketing your business on Instagram, you can see the stats here that 80% of the accounts follow a particular business on Instagram. So it's not just for the personal use or people don't follow the businesses, rather it's a great branding strategy to acquire customers through Instagram as well. And nowadays the new feature of Instagram Stories is killing it. Uh, it has already killed Snapchat. It is about so people are using more and more Instagram Stories on a daily basis. So let's check Instagram on similarweb.com how it performs. So instead of opening the mobile app I'll be opening the website of Instagram here and uh, let's see the similar web stats of Instagram That's a huge number 3.2 billion people are using Instagram on a monthly basis And look at the time on site almost 6 minute and 28 seconds so the so the audience retention is also very good with Instagram So let's see detailed stats of Instagram Look at the global rank of 5 is the fifth most popular website on the internet. So the stats speak for themselves. Instagram is a hugely popular network and it's something that you should not let go in 2019 and in coming years. So let's focus on why should you even try Instagram marketing. So your objective can be anything. If you're an individual, you might be focused on more on getting more followers or creating a following or becoming an influencer. But if you are a business you are looking for more customers so Instagram is an amazing branding opportunity and as well as you can easily acquire customers from Instagram as well The best part about Instagram is the higher engagement with visual content one of the primary reasons people are moving away from Facebook and more towards Instagram is because of the visual content you don't have to read the text rather you can just look at the images and the videos 
You'll even see this trend in Facebook. You'll see that Facebook is pushing more towards the video content. Even if you run the video ads, you'll see that your cost is much less compared to a banner ad. All this is because Facebook is giving a big push to the video content on Facebook. You'll see the image on the right here that Instagram engagement with brands is 10 times higher than Facebook. And because people love visual content, they tend to stay more on Instagram. Even for me and my clients, I'm pushing hard on Instagram ads. I'm seeing great ROI on my ad spend. The targeting options are great. You can easily segment your audience. In all, it's a marketer friendly platform. If you are not using Instagram in 2019, either to gain a following or driving customer for your business, then you are losing out on a big chunk of revenue. You'll see so many Instagram influencers promoting various products, not just influencers, even the popular actors and actresses associating themselves with a brand and getting paid a huge amount just for promoting the brand. So let's start with the first step of uh, setting up your profile. Either you are opening a new account or you just want to optimize your current account, follow all the steps that I'll be telling you in the next few minutes and your account will be perfectly optimized for Instagram. So let's start first with the username, choosing the perfect Instagram username. So let's see some case studies so that you can understand this point. Whenever you're choosing a username, you have to think about your niche first. So let's say if you want to create an account about dogs. So if your username has the main keyword like dog, then it will be much more beneficial for you. Just like in our SEO video, you must have seen that keywords play an important part in Google search engine rankings. Similarly, if you want more followers, if you want to be found by a new audience, then you have to optimize your profile for keywords. Yes, hashtags also play an important part, but keywords are also equally important. You have to first define a list of keywords that are related to your niche. In all, just few strategies will be changed but primarily the whole concept of optimizing your profile will be somehow similar to search engine optimization. So let's take the example here of, I've taken two example of men's fashion and guitar center. So here you see that this profile is all about fashion images, fashion videos, and look at the beautiful username they have, men fashion, directly defining their audience, men fashion. This channel is all about fashion for men. So for them, the two most important keywords are fashion and men. And by incorporating these two main keywords in their username, people can easily find them and hence they have a huge following of 581k followers. I agree that keyword was not the only reason how they have been able to grow so much, but yes, it played a major role. Similarly, here another example of guitar center. This Instagram account is all about guitars. So why not have a username related to guitar? And also look at how clean the username is. There's no underscore, there's no numeric number. Clean Guitar Center, clean two word username. I know in 2019, it will be extremely difficult to find clean usernames, but yes, you can still try to find a good one. So if you have the keyword in your username, it will benefit your profile. So now let's talk about optimizing the Instagram bio. You have to understand that Instagram only gives one particular place where you can promote a link and that is your bio and that to just one single link. Not in your post, not in your comments, you cannot promote any link on Instagram apart from your bio. So that becomes the most prime real estate for any marketer. Because you want to drive customers or prospective customers from Instagram to your landing page or to any other place where you want them or where you can monetize. Them. So there's a particular style or a template that you should use to create your Instagram bio that has been giving the best results. So I have again few examples here. Let's start with men fashion again. You can see that the bio first indicates what this channel is all about. A guide to men's fashion, luxury, lifestyle. So with just few keywords, they have been able to define their Instagram page. So anyone who comes onto this page, they'll instantly know, okay, this channel is about men's fashion, luxury, and lifestyle. They've also included an email address here, mfsocialads at gmail.com. This is for collaboration or business inquiries, or let's say if you have a good following and a company wants to contact you, so they can easily find this email address and contact you for collaboration. So always have a point of contact here as well on Instagram bio. And the most important part, your link. Here they have a link to a particular website. Let's open the website and see how, and see how cleverly they have also mentioned the word sale here in the URL, because this will increase the CTR and more people will be clicking on the link just to the word sale. And you can see for yourself how they are monetizing their audience. They have a huge following of 581k followers. 
their channel is good uh, their engagement is good on the pictures you can see that almost three to five thousand people are engaging with the post and now they are driving people to this particular website and where they are selling t-shirts because unlike youtube you cannot show ads on instagram so you won't be able to monetize through adsense or any other way so the only way to make money is either by selling your own products or by affiliate marketing by selling someone else's product or promoting a particular product by brand collaboration so here they have decided to go for selling the products either of a brand or they may be making affiliate commission here let's take the case of organifi this is one of a very good company that i have been following for multiple months now you can see for yourself how clear their bio is organic super four blends and the best part about their bio is they are using emojis in a very innovative way emojis have always increased the audience retention be it facebook ads or instagram ads whenever you are using emoji it creates a much more personal touch and hence a much more engagement or either on your post or even on your facebook ads similarly they are using emojis in a much smarter way again a very clean bio with just the keywords non gmo gluten free and plant based so probably in their market or in their niche these three must be the main constraint of people before making a purchase so clearing all the doubts of people before they can even click the link and hence increasing the ctr of the link here they are using bitly uh, bitly is used to track the link clicks because instagram won't be giving you the analytics for the link clicks so by using a bitly link shortener you can shorten your main link by bitly and track the link clicks on bitly i really like this particular line shipping worldwide with a earth symbol so it clearly grabs my attention and also clears one of my biggest doubts since i am in india whether i'll be able to buy this or not shipping worldwide yes they will be delivering to india and i can easily then click the link and complete my purchase uh, we'll take one more example this is more for the personal branding space uh, even if you want to become an influencer this will help patron is one of the biggest uh, influencer in the online marketing space I love how he relates his family values to his entrepreneurship journey. Uh, you can see the first line he mentions his husband and father. Uh, so he creates a trust with his audience. Again, he is using the main keywords: entrepreneur, best-selling author, podcaster, and speaker. He has just launched his new physical product. This is why he is promoting it on this uh, Instagram bio link. Again, a very clean, uh, simple bio with the main keyword describing the person. Here, by using the words like best-selling author, speaker. he is showing authority and he is showing that yes people like him uh, people are listening to him he is a best selling author so yes he must another profile in the online marketing space or in the personal influencer niche you can see amy porterfield she is another online marketing expert so her first line is online marketing expert she is also using emojis to make her bio much more interesting helping entrepreneurs build engaged email list her niche is all about building email list online courses and profitable webinars So that's the line she has tried to incorporate in her bio helping entrepreneurs build engaged email list online courses and profitable webinars so if someone visits her instagram page they will instantly know yes amy porterfield is all about online marketing and helping people build email list creating online courses and profitable webinars and then she is making a pitch for people to click on the link i really like the way she has used the hand emoji to drive people to click the link this will also must have increased the ctr of the link So this is how you can create a bio for yourself put the main keywords here show authority and drive people to click on the link wherever you want the people to go So the next step is perfecting your Instagram display picture so let's again learn it uh, from various case studies We'll take the same case studies here again so let's talk about this particular page men's fashion they have this png image or more like a icon form and also clearly mentioning men's fashion Honestly I still think that uh, they could have used a different font because this one doesn't look much nicer uh, because this one could have been better but then again the whole purpose of profile pic is to show what your page is all about and it clearly indicates that this channel is all about men's fashion by representing a suit again they have used a very simple guitar related image so clearly indicating this yes this channel is all about guitar One good strategy is to also follow the color scheme in your post. So let's say if your channel is following a particular color theme or a scheme, then you can use the same color theme in your uh, image as well, just to create consistency. Let's take the case of Organifi. So their brand is all about healthy living and eating green foods. So they have this uh, Organifi juice, which you can create green juice. So they have created this branding in the form of green color. 
so they have used their logo you'll see majority of the brands uh, use their logo as the profile pic because that is consistent with their brand so if you are an individual influencer who want to increase their followers or want to become an influencer then always use a smiling shot because like here for Pat Payne, he using he's looking straight into the camera and a very happy smile looking happy so this will always create a good impact whenever you're choosing a profile pic and even when you're choosing a profile pic make sure it's high quality uh, if you don't have access to a DSLR maybe you can find a friend who can click your picture a good portrait shot with blurred background and uh, clearly a happy or a smiling face always helps similarly the case of Amy Porterfield again here you'll see she's an online marketing expert an influencer in this particular niche again a portrait shot clicked a high quality picture with a smiling face we'll be talking about choosing the right hashtag and the best time to post in the next few minutes so let's go to the next slide first let's discuss about content strategy because this is an extremely important step in your overall growth of your Instagram page Without the right content strategy, your Instagram account will definitely fail and your marketing will not give you positive results. And I see one common trend among all the people who want to scale their Instagram is that they, they are not consistent. Consistency is extremely important in this world. Even if you are any kind of influencer or even if you are a brand, consistency is what will make you seem memorable and also keep your brand refreshed in the minds of people you want to target. So let's say if you're a YouTuber, if you're not uploading videos on a consistent basis, then people will forget you and they'll move to the second alternative they have. So if you want to grow on any channel, be it YouTube, be it Instagram, be it Twitter or any other channel where you can create an audience, make sure you're consistent, make sure you're helpful, talk to your audience, engage with your audience and create content that your audience actually wants. And the third point which is extremely important is creating high quality images and not being lazy in this. People still think that creating high quality images is extremely difficult but they don't know about the free softwares out there on the internet which makes the whole job of creating high quality images much more easier. So let's say if you're an influencer, I know if you want those uh, portrait shot or those candid shots, you will need someone with a good DSLR and a good lens to click those portrait shots. But, uh, let's say if you are creating a page about guitar or dogs or like fitness anything related to a particular hobby then you can easily create high quality content that too at a very very fast rate i'll be showing you in few minutes all the free softwares that you can use to create high quality images and also you can use the same images uploaded by your competitors or different channels and again use them on your channel as well i'll be showing you how you can do that as well so creating high quality content is not a very complicated process if you know the right steps. So let's see the content strategy of uh, this particular Instagram account uh, Guitar Center. I love their engagement. See they have 1.1 million followers but uh, their images are generating 6k, 10k. This particular image is generating 16.9k likes. The reason this particular image garnered so many likes was because they targeted a particular emotional angle. R.I.P. Jim Dunlop, maybe he's some kind of a big name in the guitar industry and that's why people praise the image by liking the image. So this is something that you, you could incorporate in your content strategy as well by creating an emotional angle. People don't want to be sold to. People want to be happy, people want to be empathetic. So whenever you're targeting a particular emotion, you'll see you'll get much more engagement compared to the ordinary ones. So Instagram is not just about putting any image, you also have to be very strategic about it. You should know what type of content is well suited for your audience and what type of content will bring an emotional response from your audience. Let's see about this image, 21.9k likes. So now they are showing a particular image and they are mentioning one of the America's most legendary tattoo artist, Martin Guitar. Uh, maybe he's some kind of a popular guy. And see how they are using the hand emoji to drive people to click on the link in the bio. So they are using this hand emoji to check out the details and learn more, click the link in the bio. So this is how they are driving people to check their profile and then click in the bio and then make money from that. Earlier I told you that I'll be telling you more about finding the right hashtag. See they also have found few hashtags for them like guitar center, GC, hashtag Martin. The, they must have tested all the various hashtags and these hashtags must have given them the best response or the most like. That's why they must have decided to use them. And also there are two strategies of using hashtag. Some people use it in the caption. Some people add it as a second comment to their image because that also drives uh, engagement. Uh, it's all about testing. 
honestly uh, in my experience of using instagram and for my clients i've seen that instagram is all about testing if let's say one technique is working for me then it might not work for you so when we talk about content strategy first you have to understand that you have to find images or content related to your niche of the page let's take the case here of uh, men's fashion again let's click any of the image here so you can see a beautiful beautiful car here so definitely people will be attracted to the image one thing you have to understand is that that if you'll add the ordinary images or the same content that everyone else is posting then you won't be able to get the engagement the reason is very simple if people are seeing the same kind of content again and again they won't be interested in it you have to find images or videos which can drive attention in 2019 the whole game is all about attention even in the youtube videos of your popular youtubers you will see that they are trying to grab your attention they'll pick the most important part of the video and then try to present it in a line or a clickbaity line in the intro of the video just so that you can watch the video till the end because on youtube the most important parameter is watch time so they want to increase the watch time of their video and that is why they are trying to grab your attention similarly on instagram the most important parameter is again attention and if you have the attention of people you will drive much more engagement and if you are driving much more engagement then instagram will again give you organic boost and you'll get much more people to see your posts again you will see for the hashtag they are using the hashtags related to their particular niche which is men's fashion gentleman style fashion lamborghini and cargasm in the use of hashtag there are again two different ideology some people prefer to use many hashtags in their images and some people tend to keep it only to 5 to 7 hashtag per post again it's all about testing the more you test the more you'll be able to understand what is working in your particular niche You can also see the various competitors in your particular niche like in men's fashion I can go to various pages or various different Instagram accounts who have already garnered a huge amount of following and then look at their images what kind of hashtag strategy are they using and also I'll recommend you to note down all the hashtag that your competitors are using and again test it in your post and see which hashtags are driving the most engagement for you and then pick the ones that are working for you Instagram is something that I cannot uh, give you a direct a word by word script or a particular steps that you are follow this and you'll get massive amount of following instagram is all about testing the more you test the more clearer the picture will be for you on how to grow your instagram account easily so now let's talk about the time strategy one of the most common question i get asked by the people is that at what time should they post again uh, my answer will <laughs> seem repeated but then again it's all about testing again even whenever i am getting a new client i just tell my team to test the different timings because you never know what audience are responding to but yes if you are living in a time zone like india then try to post it in the morning like at around 8:30 to 9 because that's the time people are going to the office or they have just reached the office so they have not started working so they want to enjoy a little uh, so they have the tendency to open instagram and go through their feed so 8:30 8 am time is good Similarly similarly in the afternoon at around 1:30 when it's somewhere close to the lunch time uh, then again uh, it's a good time to post because people have just worked for 3 to 4 hours now they want to relax so they usually open their instagram to browse through their feeds and at that time if you'll post you'll see uh, you might see a good engagement on your post and similarly at around 6:30 and around 9:30 pm similarly at around 6:30 pm and 9:30 pm will give you much better results but then again it's all about testing maybe your audience is uh, engaging at a much different time so again test test and test testing is the key to success on instagram so now let's talk about hashtag i've already given you a brief i've already given you a brief that the best way to find hashtag is going through your competitors look at what hashtags they are using and then making a notepad file or a evernote file and copy pasting all the hashtag that your competitors are using and then using few of the hashtags from that particular list on your post and then track which hashtags are giving you the maximum engagement hashtags can be of various types like location specific lifestyle specific brand specific and so many different other categories but if you'll go through all of them you'll just get confused so if you're just starting out then my strategy and my recommendation will be go through all the other accounts that are already getting good engagement on instagram look at their hashtag strategy look at their timing strategy look at their posting strategy look at their content strategy and then try to drive some inferences from that uh, and then try to replicate that in your strategy and see which particular hashtag or which particular timing or which particular type of content is giving you the most engagement 
In the end, the goal is all about engagement. Because if your posts are getting more engagement, then Instagram will boost you organically and it will be showing your post to a much wider audience and you'll be able to garner much more followers. So I won't be giving you a direct strategy on finding the hashtag. I'll keep that on you that you'll do your due research. You'll look at your competitors, make a complete list of hashtags and then test it in your own Instagram strategy. So the biggest hurdle people have is to grow their brand new Instagram account to at least the benchmark of 1000 followers. I see so many people doing the mistake of buying the Instagram followers from these various idiotic websites like fiverr.com or any other similar website. Trust me, that's not worth it. You're just wasting your money. So I have a few strategies for you that you can use to grow your Instagram followers to at least the benchmark of 1000 followers and then you can use the advanced strategies to grow it to a much better scale of 10,000 or 100,000 followers. So the one strategy that I personally use whenever I'm building a brand new Instagram account is the follow on follow. So to implement this uh, follow on follow technique, it's honestly pretty simple. This won't work if you are targeting 10,000 or 15,000 followers, but yes, to reach your 1000 followers mark, all you have to do is make a list of all the competitors. Uh, let's take the example of this particular channel, men's fashion. So all the fashion related channel are uh, the competitor of this particular channel. So let's search for fashion. Uh, teaching men's fashion so this is uh, relevant okay so here you can copy the url and uh, add it to a particular notepad file and the best part about uh, instagram is that it recommends suggested channel so when you click this particular arrow you will see all the suggested channel who are in the fashion niche or maybe in the men fashion niche so you can go to blue man or this whatever this channel is or hudson and main and you can find for yourself whether these channels are suited for uh, your particular audience or not Again, you can see the bio here, clean bio uh, with a business email ID and men's hair YouTuber. So he is probably into the men's hair. It might again be relevant to the men's fashion. So this particular account also you can copy in your notepad file. Similarly, again, you can click here on the arrow button and find more channels. So this way you can create 30 to 40 different channels who are your main competitors. And then what you have to do is click on their followers and follow all these accounts. So just click here, follow all these accounts. So I've seen that 20 to 30 percent people do follow back your channel. So if you're following 100 people, you can easily get 20 to 30 followers back on your account and then you can unfollow all these people. Uh, I know this sounds like a very shady technique, but this is what every influencer or even the advanced influencer marketers are using to grow their channel to the at least the initial mark of 1000. This is not a scalable technique and I won't even recommend you to do on a, on a very longer duration because Instagram will then just flag your account as spamming and your account might even get banned. So do this only till you're getting at least like 1000 followers and then stop doing this technique. Because I'm not interested in them, I'll just unfollow them here. And also Instagram has a limit of how many you can follow in a particular hour. I think it's close to 50 or 40. So you'll have to do this on an hourly basis. Uh, so maybe just follow 40, 50 accounts. Uh, per hour, uh, do this for a couple of days and you'll easily reach the 1000 uh, follower mark. But before doing this technique, I'll still recommend you to at least add 10 to 15 different posts in your profile because whenever someone will click on your profile, because let's say if you follow someone, so they will be getting a notification, so they will visit your profile here. And if your profile looks like this, only a profile pic, no bio, no post, no one will follow you back. So make sure you have a clean bio, at least 10 to 15 different good looking posts, highly engaging posts, a good profile pic, and this will increase your follow back count to maybe even much more than 20, 30 or maybe even 50 people follow you back if you're following the 100. So this is what you can do to get your initial 1000 followers. But don't scale it, don't do it after you have reached the 1000 followers because your account might get banned. So the second technique that you can use to grow your Instagram account for 1000 to 10,000 followers is using shout for shout technique. Again, this uh, technique is not highly scalable, but this is something that all the Instagram influencers are doing, all the popular Instagram account users are doing, and even the Instagram marketing experts are using to grow the follower account of their clients or for themselves. So what is this technique? So uh, let's take the example of men's fashion. In the bio of this particular account, you will see this particular text, kick colon fast chat. So kick is extremely popular in Instagram marketing space. So to do this shout for shout technique, you'll first have to install this kick application on your Android or iOS phone. So kick Android. So this is the application kick. This is another messenger kind of application, but for Instagram marketing, it's hugely popular. So just like you can create a WhatsApp group similarly on Kick also you can create groups and you can join those groups. So there are many Instagram marketing shout out groups where you can join them. 
So let's say you want a shout out in this particular channel. What does a shout out mean? So this is a shout out like here you can see that this particular username, I, I don't know who this is, but let's say if you want a shout out from this channel, so they'll create a post for their particular account and in the description or in the caption, they'll mention your account and ask their followers to follow your account. So why would a channel even do this for you? Unless you're offering them money, right? So this is how the Instagram shout out works. Primarily another monetization channel for an Instagram account holder is selling shout outs. So let's say another fashion related account wants a shout out from this particular channel. So what they can do is either they can email them here mfsocialads at gmail.com that yeah, what is the price for one particular shout out from your channel or they can join their kick channel. So if they want to buy the shout out, they'll just email them uh, decide on a particular payment, transfer the money and buy the shout out. Second is kick. They can join this kick and on kick there are multiple communities, multiple groups. So what they do is they help each other out. So there are various shout for shout communities. So let's say if you have 2000 followers on your account, so you can join a particular kick community, which includes all the members who are in the range of 1000 to 5000. So what they do is, uh, let's say a group has 20 members and all of them have around 1000 to 5000 followers and all of them are in the let's say the fashion niche. So what they'll do is they'll decide on a particular time of a day and all the 19 accounts will give a shout out to a one particular account. This will increase the engagement of that one particular account. A lot of people will start following that account and the overall follower count will increase. Similarly, what you do is then a second account is chosen from all those 20 account and then the same process is repeated for the second account. So this process helps everyone, all the members of the kick group. All of them gain the benefit of getting more followers. But you'll have to make sure that no one will accept you in the group if you just have 1000 followers and if you're expecting to be included in a group of let's say uh, members who have 50,000 plus followers, you will be rejected. So trying to find groups who are in your follower range and then join them and help each other out. It's an extremely easy way to grow your uh, Instagram following. So whenever we are talking about shout for shout, either you can join kick groups to help each other out. Uh, you can email the similar niche oriented Instagram accounts or either pay for the shout out or ask them for a shout for shout. So they will give you a shout out and similarly you will give them a shout out. But one thing that you must keep in mind is that if you're emailing someone who has a follower count of 10,000 and you only have 1000, no one will respond to you. So make sure you email or just kick message to only those account which are in the similar follower count as you have. Now the next important strategy is A-B testing is the key. I've already mentioned how testing is important in growing your Instagram followers, be it your bio, be it your photos, be it your posting time or be it your hashtag strategy. Everything needs to be tested, especially whenever you're growing a new Instagram account. When, when you don't have a huge following, you'll have to test everything, which one is working for you. And if let's say you find a particular strategy that is giving you good result, make sure you double down on it. We also have a checklist for you that you can download from the link below. Apart from that, share your Instagram success story. Share with us in our Facebook group, which tactic worked for you. And we'll see you in the next video.